You're in my video. Hillary! I don't read fighting scenes, I don't care. Promise? Promise? No more Tracy Wolf for me. Hi, I'm Tizzy and this is my 24 hour reading vlog. I didn't have any plans this weekend and so I decided to block it off and try to do a 24 reading vlog. I've never done one before so it'll be interesting for me to try. I'm excited to read for 24 hours especially since I haven't been reading a lot. I think my only concern is I'm in like a reading slump and I haven't read a book in a while so I hope that doesn't happen here because I only have 24 hours so hopefully 24 hour uh, forces me to read. Meow. My cat. Ellery! Ellery! So, the 24 reading hour vlog starts now. It is about 6 o'clock on a Friday, and so I will end this uh, 6 p.m. tomorrow. And hopefully, my sleeping schedule hasn't been messed up, but then I have Saturday to recover for work on Monday. Yay! My main bookshelf, and it's the one that I usually have on my TikTok videos and stuff like that. I'm trying to figure out what books I should read. Nothing too crazy, nothing too boring, because I, I don't want to fall asleep. I'll probably fall asleep for a little bit. And this is my second bookshelf. Um, it's a little bit smaller. It has my board games on it. No one's ever wanted to play board games with me though, but this one kind of has like my spillover. This is my second and my main bookshelf. Running out of space. Some of my books are just on the floor um, until I get a new bookshelf. I was trying to get a new bookshelf at Ikea, but they ran out and they said they're not gonna get any more until September. Here are the four books I chose. I decided to do four genres. First one being like just regular fiction, like not rom com but like just regular fiction. Rom-com, smutty, and like a romantic. Eight, I did backups of them. I've gotten Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Adderson. It's a memoir and I chose it because it was recommended by Steph Borger. It was her top six books ever. It sounded very interesting. I'm a mood reader, so it depends. It doesn't necessarily mean that I will not read it ever. It just means I might need to take a break to get a new a perspective on it. I've gone back and seen other books that I have decided to take a pause on and read a year later and then I end up loving it. I don't want like to force myself to read books because I end up hating it by force myself. So the alternative if I don't like this one is In Like an Event by Rebecca Yaros. I really liked Fourth Wing. I heard this one was very good although it is heart-wrenching. Um, that's my plan B but this is what I will be reading first. Rom-com section I'm gonna read is The Long Game Elena Armas. I really did like Spanish Love Deception. I know a lot of people said it was kind of like a throwaway orcs proximity but I still rated it a four or five. I did not like The Room I Experiment so I'm hoping I like this one. It came with special bonus content. Plan B if I don't end up liking this one. It's kind of a low fantasy rom-com and it's A Witch's Guide to Fake Dating a Demon. It's basically, again, for expressivity but with a little bit of magic. And then for the smutty, I got Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher. I did like the fine print by her. Half plot, half smut, which is a little different than this one because it's more like rom-com comedy and this is more just like romance and then sex. My plan B, in case I don't like this one, is um, Twisted Games by Anna Huang. I did not like Twisted Love, but a lot of people said Twisted Games would be good, so I decided to give this one a shot. Fourth and final genre, it's a romantic with Quicksilver. It is recommended on Book Talk, self published, but there are some mixed reviews which had right. My plan of the Ren in the Holly Library. It's obviously a Red Tower book, so we've got the spray. 24 hours, these are the four genres and four books I'm gonna read, or eight, depending on if I decide to take a pause. Before I start reading, I'm gonna shower and kind of get in the mood, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean my room and then get ready so I can be relaxed. Adam, stop antagonizing Ellery. finished with my showers. These are pajamas from American Eagle. They one knows how to get a Bowala without paying $200 on Mercari. Let me know. <laughs> I'll do skincare and then we'll go ahead and start reading. And while I'm doing my skincare, we should all think about which genre I should read to first. I think I'll try to read the rom-com first because I can generally read these faster so that way I can get through more of these since 10 o'clock and I've just been showering, cleaning, doing other things instead of actually reading and I do want to get through some of this before the 24 hours is over. Promise? Promise? 
whatever of the story so far it's like kind of a rough start like a generic like rom-com i mean i get that i'm reading a rom-com i'm about 50 pages in like so far what i've gathered is that the main character adeline pr manager whatever for her father's company that owns a team and she for some reason it doesn't say because it's obviously backstory like she had a PR nightmare because she herself, for some reason, went up to the mascot and like, tore off his head. Big no-no in the mascot industry. Now, gets recorded because internet, especially since the team's doing really badly, it was really bad, negative press. So her father is like, oh, you need to PR somewhere else. And then she doesn't like her dad, but she wants to work for the company. So she goes to this out of the woods area in the middle of nowhere where she's supposed to live in a shack. Off to a rough start because the guy she meets there when first meet cute is like not so cute because they get into an argument and they hate each other and and they realize they're living not together but like in the same neighborhood it reminds me of those hallmark romances where it's really cheesy but i really like banter and original stories you know it's cookie cutter but when it's too cookie cutter i don't like it because i'm like, okay well and then i could just read like the hating game or something instead if i'm going to do something cookie cutter then i might as well do one i enjoyed and get the feels again it's bland but i'm 50 pages in and maybe i just need some good banter if not then i might go to my plan b thing I don't like is that it's dual POV. And I like it when it's like if it's a really good rom-com like yet yeah, another book comes out or something like that or a few chapters comes out with like male main characters POV but when it's both I get confused and I flip around who, who's talking. Are they like competing against each other trying to get into each other's skin? So it seems like a slow burn which is fine. I like slow burns but I have to have a reason to care about these slow burns and so far I do not care. Far unless something sticks out I feel like this is gonna be like a two star for me. Buy any of her, more of her books. And it seems like all of her characters are like Spanish. And I get that she's Spanish and just kind of write what you know, but it's kind of like it's the same recycled stuff. So why waste my time? <laughs> the book although I admit I skimmed a lot of it because and I just wasn't invested there were some cute phrases that I did underline I'm a sucker for those like cute lines where he's just like, I'll do anything for you I thought it was kind of funny the way he said I'll slay I would slay dragons for you like you're a soccer player dude what are you talking about there was nothing that made me want to like him as a character the author was putting all these like cute words into his phrasing almost like she just shoved it in there hoping that it would work 2.5 out of 5 um did the extra half star just for the cute lines but it is 12 o'clock what i'm gonna do is rest for a little bit 9 12. got you I'll see you in a couple hours after my power nap. I'm sleepy. I feel like if I try to force myself to read now, even the one I'm tired, I won't like it. And I already had trouble with this last book. Maybe we'll stop by Barnes and Nobles tomorrow. Okay, I kind of messed up a little bit and slept longer than I thought. I thought I was only gonna take like a two, three, maybe four hour power nap. I ended up sleeping four, seven, and then I ended up scrolling on two. I'm gonna get ready for the day and I'm committed to waiting at least two and a half books. <laughs> other book bloggers on low just kind of like feel like I'm like talking to somebody on FaceTime rom-com one because I did that one in case I do that. that's just on the side I don't really feel like I want to read the smutty one right now I might go to Barnes and Nobles and get another one but I think it's between either the fiction or the romantic I really want to know what makes it so that way Seth Borger said this was her top five books I love memoirs so <laughs> Page 30 and 
one so far. I think this book is really good. I can see why it's rated so high. I love really well written memoirs and this one is really well written. I feel like I could consume this book really fast and also reread it over and over. So I'm very excited. And there's just so much that I want to write down and annotate. So I'm going to be doing that. <laughs> that she has when you're younger you know when you're younger and you just kind of say yes to everything and then you have like this adventurous life i didn't really have one of money to see other people's interesting ways that they did things when they were younger you know, like getting on a train with no money to this guy's house and just trying to see if it was any fun i would never do that but i like to live vicariously through people who do that and then the life lessons she's learned from that since then be down some annotations that i really loved some phrases that resonated with me one part made me really laugh because it was a recipe for mac and cheese. Just kind of like a non sequitur. I thought it was really funny. But yeah, I should be able to finish it out. It's about 11 o'clock. I finished. I still have some annotations here. Some really good book. I definitely will read it again. Some of it resonated a lot with me. And then some of it was cute story. I really like her writing style. She actually had more recipes in there, which was really funny. She said, it wasn't the concept of getting older that I found so overwhelming, but rather the transference of what I perceived to be one definite phase of life to the other. And as a person who is definitely getting older and I'm older than most of my friend group definitely feel that way. My body is basically the same. My hangovers are a little bit longer, but well, what phase of my life am I supposed to be at? And that's where you kind of wander a little bit. One day we will sit in a nursing home, bored out of our minds and staring at the colts on our laps and all we will have to make us smile are these memories. And I definitely believe in that. I tell people all the time that they need to say yes to more things. Do they think they won't like it? Cause you never know if they will. A lot of times you won't but you'll get that one moment where like, you'll think back on that story and be like, oh, I really lived life. Definitely recommend reading this. I'm very happy that I picked it up and that Steph Burger recommended it. But on to the next book. For my next book, I decided to do Quicksilver. Romanticy would be great and then I can round it off with the Smut book. Half of the people on Book Talk like it and half of them don't. And I'm just really interesting to see what side I will be. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll even rate it like be in the middle and just say it's like three out of five stars or something like that. But I'm in for a good romanticy since fourth wing. So hopefully this lives up to the hype. I think it's really hilarious when an author will put a pronunciation. I mean, that's when you know it's good world of willing, supposedly. But then I never read them. Cause I'm like, in my head, I just go like, instead of Omanirin, I go, I'm a, I ain't got time for that. There's too many pronunciations. If I end up liking the book, maybe I'll think for fourth wing, I pronounce him Tarn. I don't know if it's really Tarn or not, but his name is Tarn. <laughs> So far, I feel like I've been thrown into the story. I do like that it's not dual POV. So far, it looks like it's not. It's pretty chaotic so far. Um, it reminds me of the beginning of When the Moon Hatched, which was, I believe, also an indie book where they just throw you into the fighting and then, like, the world building is kind of like thrown at you. You feel discombobulated until halfway through. So I'm not sure if I'll like it so far. Hopefully I, I'm only on page 27. 12, 30, and then she just entered some world. I'm assuming it's a fairy world. Probably why they kind of like it, kind of like version of Akatar that people are trying to chase. But right now I'm gonna get ready. I need to get some groceries for lunch and then I'll probably stop by Barnes and Nobles and maybe get a book or two. into it right now <laughs> every time I see this on the bookshelves I get really unnecessarily angry <laughs> and this is the reason why I hate love trying bonus content what kind of bonus content it's the kind I like I don't know I've been burned no more Tracy Wolf for me 
25% off and it's the Olivu Bake. This is her real pen name. And I always think about getting it because number one's braid leverage and number two it's YA rom com. But she's so wordy in her fan fiction. I'd love her fan fiction, but because it's Draco Hermione, so I'm like, what if I don't like it because I'm not connected to these characters? So I guess I hesitate a lot. I might pull the plunge though. She also wrote my mechanical romance, which is kinda cute. I just found out from her friend that the summer I turned pretty, they might change a little bit of it so that way she ends up with a different guy. And I'm like, should I not watch it anymore? I'm only halfway through season two, so I'm gonna get these two smutty books. Maybe I'll read this instead of the Lauren Asher one for the 24 hours. So I finished my Costco run and then also Barnes and Nobles. Costco was a really hectic. We went to the Costco next to that Barnes and Noble instead of the normal one we go to. And I don't know if it was their first day or what, but they were very disorganized to the point where like she couldn't even figure out how to open part where so I could get the food when I ordered my Costco. Costco hot dog. She couldn't figure out how to open the bottom to like hand me anything. So I, instead of eating at Costco, it's fine because I had ingredients for a sashimi salad. So it's got like tuna and yellow tail. Oh no, I think it's albacore. Salmon with the salad. It's like a Korean salad, I think. I mean, it's pre-packaged. You just put it together basically. And then I got my two books from Barnes and Noble, Sinner and then Saint. My mom was watching me. She was the one recording me, but it was really funny because she was like, oh, uh, cool. And I'm like, oh yeah, the first book is pre. That's about a priest who wasn't sure if he wanted to stay in the priest for Catholicism. You know, I understand that. Sometimes, you know, you have a different path for God. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, please don't open the books. <laughs> Hang on, eat, try to finish Quicksilver in the next few hours, and then hopefully after that, I'll read the center. I'm done. Kind of like every other romanticy right now. I plowed through this. It's a girl who knows how to fight because she's poor and she had to learn how to be scrappy in order to survive. And there's this powerful guy. You know, they don't like each other, but then they end up having sex. And then wait, this is spoilers. Maybe I shouldn't say. Well, I won't tell you. Like, I'll just give you the premise. I mean, come on. <laughs> if any romanticy that you read, of course you're like, oh man, there's fairies in here. They're mates. It's just what they do. You, they just put that in there. There's like other creatures in there. There's a comic relief character that doesn't know when to shut up. Akatar, fourth one. Give it a four out of five. Some parts were better than others. There was a couple where I was just kind of like, you're kind of telling more than it being described or you getting to see the action. Theorist, I think that's how you pronounce her name. She is just getting told what happened. They're like, oh, while you were asleep, this happened. Instead of having like descriptive imagery in like 20 pages or something, you get like one paragraph. That was kind of annoying. I don't read fighting scenes. I don't care. It's like, Oh, and then she like tumbled and then like she stuck a sword in the guy's side. I'll skim it. That way if there's any conversational pieces that happen during or if somebody dies, really look into it. But if it's just a regular fight scene, I just, I don't care. Tell me who's injured in the end and then I'll figure it out from there. I do think that she needed an editor. There was a couple things I saw grammatically that were incorrect. She, it is self-publicity or anything like that. Yet they say like words like thank fuck or you fuck or something. The language, current language, but then they always still talk. Oh. Let me prepare the bath for you and boil the water. But I mean, I lived in Pennsylvania. I did have to boil my own water <laughs> to take a bath. So maybe, maybe this was just 10 years ago. I'm gonna read the next book since I just bought that at Barnes and Noble. And that way it's like I read four books during my 24 hour. Kind of, got a nap in the middle. actually 9 30 so i went over the 24 hours but i just wanted to finish the book i will say it's not as good as priest but most secondary books are not as good as the first i'm not super surprised i feel like it lost the oomph because of the like forbiddenness of the priest part this one where it's the brother part and he it's with a nun so i'm not sure if it was just that or just because it just i know that it's because probably the author didn't want it to be overdone so she didn't want to do the same exact formula but at the same time i, was, I wouldn't read it over and over but i mean i still liked it all right well thanks for watching hope that 24 hours was fun i really pushed myself to finish four books that kind of hurts actually <laughs> will then i do this again yeah i would probably not sleep as much more because i had to push it to make up for the time thanks for watching and i'll see you next time mm -hmm.